Good evening. It's Rodeo Week in Edmonton, and for local businesses, that means a chance to rope in customers from around the world. The CFR and Farm Fair International injects tens of millions of dollars into our local economy. Our Angie Mellon joins us live from the South Lobby with more on that story. That's right, there was some concern that this would be the last year for the CFR. However, it was announced late last month that the CFR will be returning for another two years. This is welcome news for businesses specializing in Western Wear and also businesses around Northlands looking to cash in this week. The bell ringing is a familiar sign of customers coming into Welsh's saddlery and Western Wear during the Canadian Finals Rodeo. Probably we're going to spend $1,500 today, I would think. Seven, $800 goes really fast. Customers are coming from all over to stock up on rodeo gear and get a head start on Christmas shopping, which is good news for Welsh's, one of many businesses benefiting economically by the rodeo being in town. People that do come in from out of town are buying for Christmas and that sort of thing too, so they're getting a start on all of that. So, you know, where if they're, you know, throughout the year they're buying one pair of jeans, and maybe they're buying two or three now. You know, or they're buying that one pair of boots that they need to be replaced every year or every second year or whatever it is. So the purchases are tend to be a little bit bigger at this time of year. Canadian Professional Rodeo Association estimates approximately $50 million is brought in due to CFR and Farm Fair. However, businesses around Northlands are just happy to see customers coming in. <laughs> businesses like Coliseum Pizza and Steak are hoping to cook up big business this weekend. With hockey no longer at Rexall, staff say events like these bring in a good mix of customers. And on evenings before events, they're getting a dinner rush of 150 people. Some regulars that come for the rodeo or whatever, they like to participate in events. And then we have the out-of-towners too that come, like, that are actually in part of the events. Like we have, like, calf ropers and their families. As for Gary, he's happy the rodeo will be staying around for a few more years. I'm very happy it's back for another two years because I think it's great for Edmonton. And if they ever lost the rodeo, I think it would be terrible for the city of Edmond. A lot of people come in from out of town for CFR and Farm Fair, so hotels near Northlands are at capacity right now. And one hotel even told us they're already booking for next year. Angie, we found out a couple weeks ago the rodeo will stay in Edmonton until 2018. And now word this week of a brand new rodeo event for the summer. That's right, Northlands and the Canadian Professional Rodeo Association announced this week the K-Day Summer Rodeo. So athletes from Canada and the U.S. will be coming back to Edmonton to compete during July for three days. Angie, the CFR has been in Edmonton for 43 years and now the city is going to look into exactly how much money it brings in? Yes, Edmonton Tourism plans to con conduct its first formal economic assessment. They say the results from this assessment should be available in a few months. Thanks, Angie. That's Angie Mellon reporting live from the South Lobby.